Hello people, in this video let us look at silicosis. So in pneumoconiosis, that is occupational lung diseases, we have seen that dust with the, uh, with the size range of 0.5 to 3 micron, they are health hazards and they can lead to occupational lung diseases like pneumoconiosis. Example for pneumoconiosis are so many. You have silicosis, anthracosis, bisinosis, bagosis, asbestosis, farmer's lung, etc. In this video, we want to look at only silicosis, which is caused by silica dust. Okay? So silicosis, basically, it is the most important um, the pneumoconiosis probably that is we have always put it on top uh, the inhalation of dust which contains free silica or silicon dioxide is the cause of silicosis this was first reported from kolar gold fields that is uh, cur currently in karnataka uh, people who work with cement glass bauxite um, and lot of other industries that i mentioned here sand blasting uh, construction work remember um, cement okay so that will uh, remind you of construction so what happens to them over a period of time of inhalation the lung becomes like this they'll have nodules fibrosis so these are the words that have to come out in silicosis what in all words will you say nodules in the lungs fibrosis all these words have to come out okay so basically the particles are ingested um, in, inhaled by you, ingested by the phagocytes, they accumulate and they block the lymph channels. So that is what? Dense nodular fibrosis. Those are the words you have to say. That uh, The size of the nodules also has been mentioned. What should you say? Dense nodular fibrosis. Remember, this, uh, this is going to be insidious and onset. Initially, the person will have cough, irritant cough, dyspnea on exertion, pain in the chest he can have. With advanced, you will see that there will be reduction, impairment in the total lung capacity. Um, the thing is, um, the chest x-ray, x-ray remember will be very similar for silicosis and tuberculosis. So, uh, radiological evidence is so similar, that's all you have to remember, okay. The radiological evidence between uh, tuberculosis and silicosis will be similar, so that's why you will say snowstorm appearance, okay. Earlier they thought that this can lead to tuberculosis, but now they don't uh, believe that, that it can lead to tuberculosis. Silicosis and tuberculosis have very similar radiological appearance. There is no treatment guys, the only thing you can do is prevention. So uh, dust control you should have like substitution, complete enclosure, isolation, hydroblasting, good housekeeping and uh, protective measures, personal protective equipment and uh, you should have pre-examination before taking them on the job and uh, regular annual checkups etc. Silicosis is a notifiable disease again under the Mines Act, right, and the Factories Act. Remember, silica dust can also lead to lung carcinoma. So, silica dust can also lead to lung carcinoma, not just silicosis, okay. So, snowstorm appearance they have shown here, okay. So, remember, uh, silica dust is what? It's an inorganic dust. It leads to pneumoconiosis, that is occupational lung disease. This is coming under dust. 0.5 to 3 micron should be the size. Silica causes, silica dust causes silicosis. It's inorganic. Then what else did we see? It can also lead to lung cancer. It's uh, because of silicon dioxide or free silica. It was first reported in the Kolar gold mines. Uh, you can see it in people who are working in cement, glass, bauxite, etc. Construction industries. Uh, the particle size we told you, then um, the lung will have what? Dense nodular fibrosis, nodules, fibrosis, all these words you have to write. Initially, the person this will be insidious and onset. Initially, he will have cough, irritant cough, dyspnea on exertion and the pain in the chest. Okay, what is dyspnea? Difficulty in breathing. Okay, then where are we? Advanced cases, there will be impairment of the total lung capacity. Okay, moving on guys. Uh, the tuberculosis and silicosis will look very similar on x-ray snowstorm appearance. Earlier they thought that silicosis can lead to tuberculosis, but now they don't believe so. No effective treatment, just prevention, dust control, regular physical examination for workers. It's a notifiable disease, remember. And uh, silica dust can also lead to lung carcinoma. That's all for now in this video. Bye-bye.